ever since SharePoint agents were announced, it seems like forever ago, everyone's been waiting for this one web part to finally make it into SharePoint, at least one that Microsoft provides. It's finally rolling out. I've got it in my tenant. I'm going to show this thing off and I'm going to explain why this thing is a major contender for my feature of the year. There are some limitations, but there's also already a fix in a different way. It's going to show us the future of how information is going to be searched for in SharePoint. I'm going to break down what this thing is, how, uh, how to use it, how to configure it, the whole nine yards. Let's get into it. I'm on a test intranet right now, and let's just go into edit mode because we're going to add this new web part. It does need to be featured prominently in your site so users can find it really quickly. I'm thinking right here above the locations and times. That looks like the perfect place for it. I'm going to stick it right at the top and we'll click the add new button and you'll see it under the AI section. It's called agent link. It's also right next to the FAQ, which you may already see in your environment. And I've covered that in a previous video. It was just a week or two ago. So check that one out for sure. But we're going to click on agent link and it'll give us the uh, a button to set this agent link up. We click on this we've only got a few options right now but like a lot of these other ai or copilot type features in sharepoint or at least the web parts it's going to be getting updates there's, there's just no doubt about that we're going to get some more options for this uh but for now what we do is we pick an agent i'll pick the contoso intranet agent it's a custom agent you can't pick the site default agent on here at least not yet uh, and you'll see an option if you want to show or hide the title. I'm going to hide this, keep it a little bit cleaner. Uh, once you've got that pick, these layout options will work, will finally work for you. Uh, you do need to have the agent picked first, but you can pick what, what type of layout you want for this. Uh, I think the large layout is good uh, until people kind of get used to knowing to look for that, the agent link button on your intranet. But this is going to help them to understand uh this this is something they can use to find information and in a much better way than the microsoft search bar at least in my opinion so we'll, we'll once we've got that we'll republish the site and now what happens when this is all configured is we're going to click on the intranet agent link and then the copilot slide out comes so it saves you from having to click that that copilot button and then pick whichever agent you want to actually be uh, you you want to interact with. So it does save a lot of time, uh, simplifies the process. I have never been a big fan of having that copilot button up there because it it's for end users and end users don't usually go up to that section. Site owners, yeah, sure, they'll go up there to go to site settings or change other aspects of the site, but this puts it where users need it, which is in the content itself. So from here, we can ask about content on this site, like, like you've seen in other uh, agent demos. So I can say, where is the XD500 drone information? So I know I've got a document on this site about the XD500 drone. So this should be returning that document. Uh, yep, there it is. And gives me a summary of it too, which is nice. So we've got a summarized and uh, We've got a summarized response. We've got the link to the document on this site. So all this works great. There's some other things that I want to show you here, and it's going to make that light bulb go off on the, uh, in your head about where this is going. Now, I mentioned this is going to be a strong contender for feature of the year because of the, the ramifications of what this is going to start letting us do. It's going to start to let you find all of the information that you need uh, in an extremely easy way, for especially for end users. First, let's talk about how, to, how you're actually going to protect all this information that you're searching for. And that leads us into this video's sponsor. Today, many organizations rely on Microsoft 365 for everything from email, collaboration, conferencing, and calendars, to documents, internal communications. Yet this critical data can be lost as easily as it's created. Threats like cyber attacks, retention gaps, or even a simple delete click can leave data inaccessible and cause costly downtime. Nakivo Backup and Replication seamlessly bridges this gap to ensure your Microsoft 365 data and Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, and Microsoft Teams is backed up and easily recoverable. 
You can send Microsoft 365 backups and backup copies anywhere. Local folders, cloud platforms, NFS and SMB shares, tape media, and duplication appliances. The solution offers advanced ransomware protection features that include backup encryption and immutability. Microsoft 365 data loss does not need to happen. With Nikivo backup and replication, you can ensure maximum protection of Microsoft 365 data. Make sure to check out Nikivo in the link in the description below for a free 15-day trial. Now let's switch over to an associated site so you can see how this would work here as well. So now I'm on my onboarding site. This is an, a, a site that's associated with the hub site we were just on. So all these are part of that same hub network. Here, we're gonna do the same thing, and it's gonna go a little bit differently than you think, because here's what we're going to do. We're gonna edit, and we'll add in the new agent link. I think it's gonna be really important to keep that agent link in the same place on every site so that users know to expect it there. Uh, that that consistency is going to be really important for adoption here. But we'll set this up. We will see the Contoso intranet agent here. And it will work. If we set this up, it will work. Here's the difference. That agent is only set up to search that other site, not this one. Now, this has a default uh, agent. It's Onboard IQ. I had created this. Uh, earlier is part of an onboarding agent video that you can check out for how I made this one. But uh, in this case, today, we would add the onboard IQ agent, and we would republish this way. So each site would have an agent grounded on that particular site. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Steve, we need one agent that searches everything. And we're almost there. Here's what I mean. This feature did just come out. Um, it wasn't part of the regular news. Uh, it kind of slipped under the radar. I don't recall ever seeing it on the roadmap. And by the way, if you want to keep up with all those, all the SharePoint news that's coming out, check the link in the description below for my SharePoint Insights newsletter. It's free and it summarizes all those roadmap items for you so you can always know what's coming up and when. This thing is in preview. Um, here's where I think this is going to go. Right now, if you set up an agent link, you cannot pick the site's default agent. Uh, as you know, every SharePoint site now has a default agent, and it's it's grounded on that site. It's essentially what I've created with that intranet, that custom intranet agent, but this one's got a special power. The default agent on a site, let me correct that, the default agent on a hub site will search on everything in the hub network. So on the hub site, uh, if we look at the Copilot dropdown, you'll see, you'll always see one on there. It'll always be that default one. And until you change the default, it'll always be the one that Microsoft provides. You can't, uh, you can't edit this. There's really nothing you could do to customize this. But this agent would be grounded on the entire hub network. So you'd be able to find content on associated sites. That doesn't work with the custom uh, agents that you create here. So, but I think that that's, that's a temporary problem. It's not a long-term problem. Where I see all of this headed is that agents on a, the agents that are grounded on a hub site will, all, will automatically be grounded on that hub site's associated sites. So I, in other words, your entire intranet, typically that's all part of a hub network. So it would be grounded on everything in your internet. You could have one agent that's grounded on all of that, and you could have the same exact um, agent link on all of those sites, and they will all work. So this onboard IQ would eventually be changed to the Contoso intranet agent. So you would have one agent to configure. You would, you, you would link to it on all of your associated sites using this new web part to let users find everything that they need on the internet easily. That's where I believe all this is headed. As you know, Copilot things change fast. Features come out all the time. There's, it's honestly, it's tough sometimes keeping up with all of the news with what's coming out and which type of agent it affects. So there, the, the, the limitation right now is you can't pick that default site 
uh, that would be grounded on everything. But before that happens, I'm pretty sure we're going to get an update to SharePoint agents so that all of your custom agents grounded on a hub site will be grounded on all of those associated sites as well. Think about what this really means for the future of intranet search. So this simple web part, without even the extra bells and whistles that it'll eventually get, it really changes everything about how people search for content on an intranet. It makes it so easy now. It really needs to be part of your intranet design today. Like you need to be planning this rollout today so that when this feature lands in your environment, you can provide immediate extra value to those users so that they can find what they need and save a lot, save them a lot of frustration. It's incredibly important to learn about this and to start to, to figure out what is your strategy for rolling out agents to your SharePoint intranet. Now, I mentioned that there was the AI uh, powered or the Copilot powered FAQ web part. This is an incredibly important one as well because it saves you a lot of frustration. So to get started learning how that one works, just click or chat the screen and I'll see you over there.